Okay, here's a situation. Here's a property plagued by rabbits, but there's so much hard stuff in the area. Hard stuff meaning rock, stone retaining walls. I do not want to take the chance of ever missing or having a pass through ricochet off something. This arrow gun works well. And the reason why it does is because even when I miss, there is no ricochet. If I miss onto a hard object, the energy from the blast gets absorbed into that carbon fiber bolt. This village allows shooting bows within the city limits so long as the projectile does not leave the owner's property. Most of my shots were within 15 yards and just for fun, here is what a 15 yard shot would look like coming right at you in real time if you were a rabbit. So you can see you're going to need some pretty good reflexes uh, to dodge an arrow. Yeah, you already see where this is setting up, right? <laughs> Let's watch this play out in real time and you'll see what I see, me missing. This one felt good to me and I was really scratching my head at how the heck I missed this. Well, let's look at it in slow motion and see exactly why I missed it. And that arrow smashes that back fence post. And this rabbit was taken with the standard field tip that comes with the arrows when you buy the whole Terminator Extreme setup. So there is no way I can show you this rabbit getting hit in slow motion and possibly have this video survive YouTube. I will host all slow motion footage with narration on my website. So. At the end of this video, or down in the video description, you'll be able to see a link that takes you to my webpage, and on my webpage, you'll be able to see the unlisted footage. So we do things this way, and the antis can flag this video till they're blue in the face, but it's not even gonna come close to violating any of YouTube's uh, community guidelines. You guys get to see the footage you want, and the video doesn't get nixed. Everybody wins. Except those boobs trying to get my videos removed. <laughs> <laughs> Follow the link to my site guys, check it out there. I take my shot on this guy and he doesn't go down quite as easily as the last one. You and I both know it's part of the game of hunting, uh, not everyone understands that. So you saw that shot, it was with a practice tip. And I didn't hit him perfect, so he didn't die like that. It took him five or six seconds for his batteries to run out. But if my arrow would have been a little bit off, I may have missed those blood vessels and you know, I might have had a bunny running off with an arrow hanging out of him. That's not funny. So I take it upon myself to try a different head. It's these. And this is what's called a small game head. And it's made by this company. So what this is designed to do is spin violently and chop. And it does just that. And it's like shooting a blender at these small critters. Let's give you some perspective here as to just how these things fly. This is a normal arrow flying from the gun 15 yards. You get like a two, three rotations of the arrow before it impacts the target. This is an arrow with a G5 head attached to the tip of it. All that energy that's converted into circular energy is then put to use on the animal you hit. Yeah, it, it carves a one inch hole through whatever the heck you hit. And after employing this arrowhead, I did capture a kill on film. So I catch this guy warming up in the morning sun. Whack! <laughs> My first shot goes high sticks into the back of this uh, truck. And don't worry, I didn't inform the landowner. She was just fine with me putting a hole in a beat up kid toy if it meant, you know, taking another rabbit out. So, basically he freezes in his tracks and gives me a second shot. He was dead instantly. So you saw that shot. This G5 small game head 
grabbed a little piece, the whole thing turned into him and all the energy was delivered right to his head. Unbelievable how devastating and forgiving this head is. I can see daylight looking through there. So it could have been a wounding shot, a glancing blow turned into an instant kill. So that's that. Dozens of bunnies in my freezer removed from a property that desperately needed some relief and at no risk of ricochet to any of the houses or people in the area. You know that a cooking video has to be coming up then. I'm thinking something simple, maybe a crock pot meal. I don't know. I got a lot of stuff to do between now and then. First and foremost, we have to take a look at that Daystate Huntsman. Maybe the FX Boss too. That certainly is doing very well at the range. I also want to get to that uh, extreme bench rest competition I was at last November. Talk about what that was all about. I got a lot of work to do. So with that, I'll see you guys at the next video. Take care.